Tommy rescuing a point there at the end. Obviously, we raced into a two-goal lead and uh, but saw that uh, go away. But, you know, you've got to be happy at the, the fight to shown to, to get that back. Yeah, it was almost like a game of three-thirds, wasn't it? Mm. Like, rather than two offs. And, and, and ultimately, you know, a very, very good manager in this division, the one that will win the league, told me in, our, in my own office after they beat us 4-3 that every point away from home is precious. Mm. And sometimes you feel like you've you've won a point because you've scored at the end and other times you feel like you've lost a point because you've conceded at the end but we had all the motions today and what I will say is it's going to be a roller coaster between now and the yeah. end of the season so buckle up well that's it isn't it I mean we'll see different results we'll see wins we'll see losses and we'll see draws but I guess all you can do is move on to the next one and, and, and take the positives from that and there was plenty there today oh, massive. wasn't there loads of positives today I thought we made two, ch- two changes and didn't weaken the team didn't mm-hmm. weaken the performance the lads who come off the bench again has affected the game for me. I said to the players before that the 16 that were picked to play this game, there was no weakness in there in terms of starting 11 and finishers. The same I felt on Saturday, and I'll say, I'll say the same before I pick the team on Saturday coming, which won't be the same team as that. So, yeah, we're in a really good place with what we know about our players. Ultimately, we've got to defend for 100 odd minutes mm. as well as we do for 95 at the minute because it seems one or two minutes in every game we're just lapsing in concentration you know but you've got to give credit to the opposition as well they've reacted I mean we've been given real plaudits this season for, for doing what they did but we hang on or we go on and win further so listen the level we're at I've said this a million times now um, and I'm not exaggerating that I understand the trade-off between having the players that I have in the back line to feed the players in the front line. Mm. I could stand here and say, what about the chances we didn't score? But I don't, because between the three of them plus Kwame, we now got over 50 goals between the strikers. So it's, I always look at the whole picture, as you know, um, and I could pick out individuals who had great games. I felt that was probably eight or nine of our lads, mm. I thought, had really, really good games. So, yeah, I'm, I am actually going away home, uh, going home happy with a point on the road. Um, you know, we took four from two last week. If we can do the same this week, that's on course for where we want to go. We saw Laurent Toladj take the armband today. Is, is that a compliment to the many leaders we have in this dressing room? It's a compliment to him. Um, and I just wanted other people to be thinking solely on their game. Laurent's a good, he's a good communicator, as much as he's got a lovely accent with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, just, I, I was looking around and I was thinking, you know, Ultimately, I want more more than the captain being talked. Josh Stokes has started talking and advising in a, in a very intelligent football spiel, to be honest. So, listen, I've got, I'm, I'm, again, it, I'm impartial as to who I, I think should be the captain. Obviously, Skip, Stu's was skipper yeah. and Aaron's the, the vice captain. You don't really go beyond that. Keane's added a few times this season. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought Lauren did a really good job. He led, led the lane as he normally does up there with Jack. Got his goal. Contributed a hell of a lot when we moved him around into a slightly different position. So, as I said, on we go to the next one. And speaking about the goals, you know, you, you said about previously that you want to give Kwame Thomas good minutes, yeah. but then when you look at, you know, Jack Barham, Laurent Toladj and Kwame Thomas scoring, it's, it's, yeah. got, it's, it's hard to pick all three of them, isn't it? Well, it, I'm trying more and more to get as many forwards on the pitch as I can because mm. I genuinely need, feel we need to outscore. Mm. Now, in the last 10 minutes when we were trailing by the one and I had both Kwame and Josh Barrett on the pitch, along with Lorraine, Josh Stokes and Jack Barham. I use that term, well, I've got to be careful what I say, but I would have shown my posterior in a supermarket window had we not scored. And if the game had gone on for another four, three or four minutes, which I think it should have done because of the, the time, you know, I don't get, where's this 11, 12 minutes at the beginning mm-hmm. of the season gone? Yeah. You know, we're now three minutes and four minutes. When we want a little bit more time or we're expecting it, we get three or four. So, look, I'm going to bank this point get in my car think a lot on the way home about you know what we could have done better could we have could we have done anything different as a coach and staff I'm not sure we could one or two individuals made slight dis- wrong decisions let's say uh, and we were put they were we were punished they didn't have that many opportunities in in the manner that they usually play the game they've played a way to beat us or to try and beat us but it's probably a little bit alien to them so you know I think we opened them up a hell of a lot and our forwards are probably a little disappointed that they haven't scored many, uh, more goals individually. But um, listen, as the words of the gladiator, were well, you not entertained? <laughs>